Hi, I'm Victoria from CNC Kitchens. I'm the lead designer, and today I'm going to talk about what you would do when you first decide you want a new kitchen. First thing I'd always say to think about is um, you know, do some research, what is it you um, want your kitchen to look like? So you, to find this out, you can go to um, friends' houses, see what they're doing, obviously go to the look in glossy magazines, go onto all the social media pages, so things like uh, Pinterest, Instagram, obviously in Pinterest, you've got an area you can click on all your likes, so they're all saved together. So you're starting to create a mood board or a collection of kitchens that you like. And what you will find with that is there'll be certain things that will start to repeat within the kitchens that you're liking. You won't ob always be obvious to start off if you might have a selection of kitchens there, but you know, look at them and try and decide what it is about them that you like. It may be the colors that you're drawn to, it could be the layout, um, it could be that they're always traditional or, or they're always modern. So start getting a feel of what it is you like, but yeah, do your research. Um, lots of ways of going out and finding what you, what you like. So when you're thinking about what style of kitchen you're going for, um, lots to take into consideration. Obviously the obvious thing is what you actually like, so what you're drawn towards. So you might want an uber modern kitchen, or it may be something more traditional, you know, shaker style in frame. So think about obviously what you like, think about what suits your house. You don't necessarily, if your property is quite traditional, you don't necessarily have to put a traditional kitchen in it. Sometimes it's quite nice to have the, the contrast, but start thinking about what you think would actually work in your property. If you're open plan, think about the rest of your furniture, how that all works together. Um, and then also think about what's practical. So you know, if you're a young family, um, certain kitchens obviously not the most easiest to keep clean. So think about what suits your lifestyle. Sometimes when you're picking a new kitchen, it is just about you want something different. So if you've had the shaker kitchen before, you will probably think, I want something completely different. So try and try something out new. Or it could be you, you've had something before, it worked really well. So why try and change it and just keep it the same? So when you're thinking about your actual kitchen itself, you think about what you actually want to achieve from it. So it could be that you've got limited storage. So you have to think about you know, being clever with your space. So utilizing the corners, the heights of the ceilings. So storage is obviously very important. If you're big on your cooking, that could be your priority. So making sure that when you are cooking, everything's easily accessible. Um, entertaining, that's very important. So if you've got, you know, always having friends around, got a big family, the kitchen's more going to be about making sure it's lovely and social, so a big island where you can be cooking on your hob and talking to people. Um, so there's lots of things to be thinking about here. Yeah. So what you actually want to achieve from that space, chances are the kitchen you've got at the moment and you're hoping to replace probably doesn't tick all those boxes. So you'll be thinking, oh, this kitchen at the moment, very, you know, I'm struggling to you know, fit everything into it. So then it's something needs to be done about that. Find it helpful to get a wish list together when you're working out what you actually want to get into your kitchen. Um, so you can think about all the things in an ideal world you can have. Sometimes it is a case of when you come to the, the final kitchen, some of those things do have to be removed, but get a list together. Um, all the things you've seen you've always wanted, so whether it's the appliances, um, hot water tap, get those all together and it helps you to focus that so those things don't get forgotten about. So even if when you pick your final kitchen, you don't have end up having all those things for whatever reason, um, you know, they don't work within the space or the budget, at least you, what you don't want to do is have your kitchen go in and thought, why didn't I, you know, think, why didn't I think of that? Um, how did I manage to forget that? So get a list together. Sometimes it's hard to know what you actually want. It's easier to actually think what you don't want. So the kitchen that we've got at the moment, I've got a black gloss granite worked up and murder to keep clean. So you'd think straight away, I won't have that again. So even if you don't necessarily know what you want in your kitchen, um, maybe think about all the things you, you don't like um, and talk to friends as well. You know, tell, ask them you know, if they've just had a kitchen fitted or you know, their kitchen, what they like about it, what they don't like about it. So I think it's always good to have a budget for your kitchen, you know, a realistic budget of what you ideally want to spend. Um, helps to focus you. So when you've got all your prices together in front of you, you can go through and actually prioritize what you need to get into that. With kitchen, sometimes it's 
having a brand new kitchen, you're just literally ripping something out and putting something new in. It's, you're just literally spending the money on that replacement kitchen. So, so your budget's not always as essential um, because it's just one room you're working on. And if you go over a little bit, it doesn't matter. When you're doing, say, an extension or it's a new build, budget is so much more important because if you do go over on your budget on the kitchen, chances are you're going to have to then take some money off something else. So if you start it from the beginning having a budget, it does then really help you to make some decisions on what you actually really need to have in your kitchen. And like I said, if you get a list of everything you want together and literally go for it one by one and you can say, right, well, I'm over budget. I can't have everything here, but I know that if I take this out, I can have that in. So I think that's the most important thing with your kitchen. When it goes in, you don't want to be looking at it and regret and think, oh, I wish I had gone for this or I had had my hot water tap in there. It's important that you thought about everything and you know, You've got everything in there with it and it's all within your, your budget. If you like these videos, please like and subscribe.